Ooh, baby, do you know what that's worth? Ooh, heaven is a place on earth. What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of Tech once again, and welcome to my quick tips on how to level fast in Tom Clancy's The Division 2. So most of these you've probably heard already, but there's one at the end that I'm going to keep and save that I would classify as power leveling that I did find in the past couple days of playing The Division 2. I was actually in it for the 12th release, which was the $100 to $120 version, and I didn't get in for the streamer slash content creator version, which was a day before that. So I did have to catch up to the streamers, etc. And if you're picking up the game today on the 15th, you might be trying to catch up to all your buddies who overpaid for the game. Or did they overpay? They are ahead of you, so don't judge. That being said, the first thing you're going to want to do is find the quartermaster in the White House. Over there, you'll be able to unlock different skills as well as perks. We're going to be taking a look at the experience perks. And on these experience perks, you're going to have things that range from bonus experience for headshots all the way to bonus experience for staying alive longer. This is going to be the easiest kind of XP boost you can pick up and the one I highly recommend getting as soon as possible. You will have to go back to upgrade it through the different ranks or the different tiers. So make sure you're visiting every time you have enough skill points to unlock the next one. That being said, make sure you unlock all of those first and primarily and then move on to unlocking the rest of the perks as they will come as you level through the game in regular progression. Next we have the big the big uh, reveal basically of how XP works in the game or XP game or XP gains work in the game. First of all, you are going to get XP from killing enemies, of course. And then from then on out, you're going to have different things like control points or what I call basically like trash side missions. They're not even side missions, side objectives that you can go do like taking over the control points, etc or just picking up like a phone on the ground and getting like maybe 200 experience points that way. The thing about these is they actually do scale, not the phones, well the phones do as well, they do scale but not to a great extent. So by scaling I mean you're going to be able to get more experience points the higher in level you are. So this is really where you're going to want to start being careful as when you choose to actually do these. The next is going to be side missions. Now, as opposed to kind of the side objectives where the scaling is probably 10 to 20% in scale along with your level as you level up, the side missions have a huge increase in experience points you gain from them as you level up. So. The thing you're going to want to do is leave all of the side missions alone and primarily do everything else before that because you're going to get the most experience from them the higher in level you are. That being said, the final way to gain experience is main missions and the big thing to note here for the main missions for the main campaign is that the experience does not scale with your level at all. It's a set amount of experience and so as you go progress through the game, you're going to want to go ahead and do the main missions first or as soon as you can. So if that main mission unlocks and it says, you know, complete, you can do this mission at level four. As soon as you're level four, go do that mission. You can do it a little under leveled and I'd actually recommend it. I've seen lots of people have great success with doing nothing but the main missions and then following back through to get the rest of your experience from side missions and the side objectives. And so that's going to be primarily how you want to focus on this. Do all the main missions first and then go through and do the side objectives second and then do the side missions last, which are going to be the diamonds. Other ways you can gain experiences by upgrading the settlements. So make sure you always go back to the settlements and visit and upgrade all of those uh, portions by donating to them. Keeping in mind that you can donate old gear as well. So it's recommended that you take any old gear before you deconstruct it. 
hold as much of it as you can and see if you can actually donate that back at the settlements or at the White House for additional experience that way. Now, what if you just got in and you have a friend that's already level 30 and he's been playing since the 12th and you're just hopping in on the 15th and you want to catch up to him as fast as possible and he's willing to help you. The great thing about the Division 2 is it doesn't block you from power leveling. And the way this works is actually a little bit more difficult than just playing through the game on the main missions, but it is possible to power level. And the way you're gonna do this is you're going to invite your friend to your game. Because if you go into your friend's game, unfortunately most of the time those side missions are gonna be closed off and so on and so forth. So invite your friend to your game and when he hops in, it will scale the level up to the highest level or a highest level party member. So if he's level 30, it's gonna scale you up to level 30. That being said, your gear is still gonna be squishy because keep in mind that you're not getting the rare and epic drops of the gear that like you would have if you were at level 30. So while it does scale you up in level, you're still gonna be pretty squishy. So make sure your friend has some perks and skills that are gonna heal you and help you get through some of the missions. Once you're in a party with him, the fastest way to level is going to be running the side missions. And that is, yes, because the side missions do scale with the level. So the side mission experience is going to be significantly scaled up for you and you're gonna be able to level really, really quick with a friend that's a higher level. For example, I had a friend that was at level 18 on the first day the game came out and I just got off work and I guess he played for like 24 hours straight, doesn't matter. <laughs> but he hopped in and I scaled up in level to level 18 and I was telling him, you know, oh, well, it looks like the main missions are fixed, so we should do those first, blah, blah, blah. And then I highlighted over the side missions and quickly realized that it had scaled the side mission levels up to level 18, so his level. So at level six, we went and ran one side mission and I leveled up twice. We ran a second side mission just in the first starting area and I was already level 11 in less than one hour of gameplay. So the power leveling is possible keeping in mind that you will probably go down quite a bit because it is difficult. So I do, I did go down a lot and in turn, of course, my partner in crime there that was power leveling me was also having a harder time of it because the enemies were also kind of scaled up because we had two people in the party member. So he is basically just carrying the whole thing. However, it is possible and I love that we have a shooter looter where it is possible to power level because that's one thing about loot grinds that and, and, and RPGs in general that used to be a thing you could do and kind of went away and I like seeing that in the Division 2. It's not going to be the end all be all. I don't think you're going to see a whole bunch of, of people power leveling necessarily because like I said it is more difficult but it's really cool that it's actually a possibility in this situation. I haven't gotten to the end game yet. I'm only level 14. I only have about maybe six or seven hours into the game so far but I'm enjoying it and I'm really looking forward to getting to the end game. If you'd like to watch my progress, you can watch me over on twitch.tv slash blindrun. I'll put a link in the description below. And I hope this video was helpful. If you have any kind of tips or tricks for leveling, leave them down in the comment section below and I will see you next Tuesday. Oh, final tip. If you really want to level fast, just skip the cutscenes. We're barely hanging on. It's hard to motivate people to fight for their lives when their lives aren't worth fighting.